Hi, this is Wynn Claybaugh. Welcome to my Best of Masters weekly audio blog for AmericanSalon.com. Next up is one of my favorite clips from the last 20 years of inspiring interviews from Masters Audio Club. Enjoy and learn. Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> if you're a manager who does not know what's going on with your team in terms of marital status, parenting status, hobbies, that kind of stuff, you don't know your team. And if you don't know your team, you can't motivate, manage, and inspire your team. Because what motivates win it might be different than what motivates me. You know, like now you've got the new baby at home. All of a sudden your thing is, instead of being motivated by an annual bonus or a quarterly bonus, you're motivated by getting time off for a good job done because you want to be home with her family and right. your daughter more. Right? Another, and a younger person might be like, I don't, you know, bonus is fine and stuff like that, but I'd like it if I do a really kick butt job that my boss lets me go Maybe one Friday a month I get to leave early to go snowboarding during winter. Right. So that might be the biggest motivator to them. And they're like, I don't care if I get a bonus or not. See, this is all, this is so valuable. You have to know your team. This is so team. valuable, right. Yeah, you have to know your team. And so many managers You answer that question team. so well of, oh, of well, how would you help somebody realize that they're a bad manager? Which means, and a bad manager means you're not recruiting and you're not retaining good talent. No, you're not saying it. The stats are saying it is the number one challenge moving forward in the workforce. Yeah. This, so. The other one's the, that same one where it said 91% of CEOs are making um, recruiting and retention their number wow. one priority. That Those same CEOs surveyed, 66% said that they feared labor talent shortages were going to be the thing that affects their company's growth and competitive state. I want people listening to this right now realize that You've already missed out on some of the, the knowledge that Lisa has. And so you're going to have to go back and listen to the first interview that I did with Lisa. You're going to go back. You need to go back and visit her website. You need to buy her book. You need to catch up because in my mind, this is uh, the next level of information. Because as you're talking, I'm, like, I'm, I'm remembering all the things that you educated me about. And I've been out there talking about it. So people, if you talk about it, people probably think that you stole it from me. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. because well, I'm out there, I'm talking about it. So I have more of an understanding of what you're talking about right now. And I've made the shifts and adjustments in my own uh, style and in my own company based on what you taught me before. But for some people listening to this for the first time, you got to get back and start educating yourself on this stuff. Well, you figure all the companies that hire me to come in. I mean, I was just in Denver for a large company whom I won't name right now, but they just started feeling it and I just did the speaking engagement with them, you know, two weeks ago, you know, and then the big thing too is that everybody thinks that the millennials, they want the money, money, money. And there was that one survey. This is really important because this tends to really shock people a lot. This is from that 2011 price, uh, Waterhouse Cooper study for millennials training and development is the most highly valued employee benefit. The number choosing Training and development as their first choice of benefit is three times higher than those who chose cash bonuses. That's huge. Everybody, you know, they think the millennials want the money, money, money. This survey shows they want growth. They valued the number choosing training and development as their first choice of employee benefit is three times higher than wow. those who chose cash bonuses. See, that actually makes me feel kind of good because sometimes I'm with my accountants looking at the bottom line of what I spend per employee mm -hmm. to train my people. And training them is tuition dollars. It's paying them their salary while they're at a, a one-day or a five-day training. Mm -hmm. It's Sometimes it's an airline expense. It's a hotel expense to go to a training. Or even if it's inside the company... It's training is expensive. You know, what have Vidal Sassoon said? He said, um, uh, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and exactly. so there's a lot of companies who deleted any kind of training for their people because it's so expensive. And, th and their whole idea was, what if I spend all this money training my people and they leave? And Vidal Sassoon said, well, what if you don't train them and they stay? <laughs> mm -hmm. 